City Gen 1.7.0. New features and updates. Importing City Gen building packs. Dramatic rendering speed improvement. And, introduction of City Gen Ultimate, featuring auto generated people and city traffics. In order to use the latest City Gen add on, please be sure to remove the previous version and install the latest one. Feature number one. Now you can choose to turn on or off individual cloud layers, in order to dramatically reduce your rendering time. For example, using only the clouds directly above the city can make your rendering 10 times faster. So, turn off cloud layers that are not directly visible in your camera. Feature number 2. City Gen now has an import button, for importing City Gen building pack. Users can now import entirely new scenes, just by selecting a City Gen building pack made up of a single blend file. By checking on the Replace Original City Gen Buildings checkbox, or leaving them unchecked, you can either replace the original City Gen Buildings with the new ones, or keep them while adding new buildings from the new building pack. Try importing the Low Poly City Gen Building Pack included in the City Gen add-on package. With City Gen version 1.7.0, City Gen Ultimate has been added to the City Gen product line featuring auto-generated people and city traffic. The following features are related to City Gen Ultimate. Feature number 3. You can turn on or off auto-generated pedestrians and people. You can change their number, the way they are distributed. No matter how big your city is, they will be everywhere. Walking, strolling, talking on the phone, and sitting on benches. If some of them look odd, Simply click Pedestrian Variations button until they look right for your scene. Feature number 4. You can turn on or off auto-generated cars and vehicles. You can change their number and speed on the fly. If some of them look overlap, simply click Vehicle Variations button or reduce their number until they look right for your scene. And please remember, the default city gen crowds and traffic systems are meant for long-distance shots. They are not designed for close-ups, at least, not yet. Integration to other existing detailed commercial human and vehicle props, is likely coming. So, this wraps up this tutorial. Thank you for watching. And thank you for choosing CityGen.